understanding when to start receiving old age security OAA's benefits in Canada is a crucial decision that can significantly impact your retirement income. As we delve into the complexities of OAS in 2024, many Canadians are strategically planning to optimize their benefits to achieve a comfortable monthly income of $5,000 or more. The landscape of retirement planning in Canada has evolved, and with recent changes to OAS, it's more important than ever to understand how to maximize these benefits while considering various factors such as the clawback threshold, pension deferral advantages, and integration with other retirement income sources. In the wake of increasing life expectancy and changing economic conditions, the traditional notion of retiring at 65 is being redefined. Many Canadians are now choosing to defer their OS pension to age 70, taking advantage of the permanent increase in monthly payments. This strategy, combined with careful planning of other retirement income sources, such as the Canada Pension Plan CPP, workplace pensions and personal savings, can help achieve the desired monthly income of $5,000 or more. The decision of when to start OAS isn't just about the timing, it's about creating a comprehensive retirement strategy that optimizes all available benefits while considering personal circumstances, health factors, and financial goals. For 2024, the OAS program continues to provide a foundation for retirement income in Canada, with payment amounts being adjusted quarterly to account for inflation through the Consumer Price Index CPI. This indexing feature helps protect seniors' purchasing power especially in times of rising costs. However, the complexity lies in determining the optimal starting age for OA's benefits, as this decision can have long-lasting implications for your overall retirement income strategy. Those who choose to defer their OAs can receive up to 36% more in monthly payments, but this needs to be weighed against the opportunity cost of not receiving payments during the deferral period. The integration of OS with other retirement income sources requires careful consideration of the OAS recovery tax, commonly known as the clawback. In 2024, the threshold at which OAS benefits begin to be reduced is carefully monitored by retirees aiming for higher monthly incomes. This becomes particularly relevant for those targeting $5,000 per month in retirement income, as the combination of various income sources could potentially trigger the clawback, reducing the effective benefit received from OAS. Understanding how to structure retirement income to minimize the impact of the clawback while maximizing overall monthly income requires strategic planning and often professional guidance. When considering the timing of OAA's benefits, Canadians must also factor in their personal circumstances, including their health status, family longevity, current savings, and other sources of retirement income. The decision to start OAS earlier or later can be influenced by factors such as continued employment, investment returns, and the need for immediate income versus long-term financial security. Those who are still working past the age of 65 might choose to defer OAs to avoid the clawback and benefit from the increased payments later, while others might need the income immediately to support their retirement lifestyle. The concept of achieving $5,000 per month in retirement income requires a multifaceted approach that goes beyond just OAS timing. It involves careful coordination of various income sources, including CPP benefits, workplace pensions, registered retirement savings plan RRSP withdrawals, and potentially rental income or part-time employment. The sequencing of these income sources and the timing of when to begin drawing from each can significantly impact the overall tax efficiency and sustainability of your retirement income plan. This is particularly important when considering the OS clawback thresholds and the goal of maintaining a consistent income throughout retirement. For many Canadians, the decision of when to start OAS in 2024 is influenced by their retirement savings and investment strategies. Those who have substantial retirement savings might choose to defer OAAs to age 70, using their personal savings to bridge the gap and benefit from the increased payments later. This strategy can be particularly effective for those who expect to live well into their 80s or 90s, as the cumulative benefit of the increased payments can outweigh the foregone benefits during the deferral period. However, this approach requires careful cash flow planning and consideration of investment returns during the deferral period. The role of tax planning in determining the optimal time to start OAs cannot be underestimated. The integration of various income sources needs to be carefully managed to minimize the overall tax burden while maximizing after-tax income. 
This becomes particularly important when aiming for $5,000 per month in retirement income, as the tax efficiency of different income sources can significantly impact the net amount available for spending. Strategic decisions about which accounts to draw from first, how to split pension income with a spouse, and when to convert RSPs to registered retirement income funds reefs all play crucial roles in optimizing retirement income. The impact of inflation on retirement planning and OAS timing decisions has become increasingly important in recent years. While OAS payments are adjusted quarterly for inflation, the purchasing power of $5,000 monthly income can be eroded over time if proper planning isn't implemented. This has led many Canadians to consider investment strategies that provide some protection against inflation, such as real estate investments, dividend-growing stocks or inflation-protected securities, alongside their OA and other government benefits. But the timing of OAS benefits needs to be considered within this broader context of maintaining purchasing power throughout retirement. Geographic location within Canada can also influence the decision of when to start OAS, as the cost of living varies significantly across different regions. Those living in high-cost urban areas might need to maximize their OAA's benefits through deferral to help achieve their $5,000 monthly income goal, while those in lower-cost regions might have more flexibility in their timing decisions. Additionally, provincial benefits and supplements need to be considered in the overall retirement income strategy, as these can vary significantly by province and can impact the optimal timing for starting OS benefits. The concept of phased retirement has gained popularity among Canadians, influencing decisions about when to start OAAs. Many individuals are choosing to gradually transition from full-time work to retirement, potentially continuing part-time employment or consulting work. This approach can affect the optimal timing for starting OAS benefits, as earned income needs to be carefully managed in relation to the OAS clawback thresholds. The flexibility to adjust work income while determining the best time to start OAS can help in achieving the desired $5,000 monthly income target while maintaining tax efficiency. The coordination of OAS benefits between spouse requires careful consideration in 2024, especially when aiming for a combined household income that supports both partners' retirement needs. Couples may choose different OAS start dates based on their age differences, income levels, and overall retirement strategy. The ability to split pension income and carefully manage the timing of various income sources between spouses can help optimize the overall household income while minimizing exposure to the OAS clawback and maintaining tax efficiency. Market conditions and investment returns in 2024 and beyond can influence the decision of when to start OAS benefits. Those who have experienced strong investment returns might have more flexibility in their OAS timing decisions, while those who have faced investment challenges might need to adjust their strategies. The interaction between investment income, OS benefits, and other retirement income sources needs to be carefully managed to achieve the desired $5,000 monthly income while maintaining long-term financial security. This might involve adjusting investment portfolios, considering annuity purchases, or implementing other income-generating strategies alongside OAS benefits. The role of debt management in retirement planning can impact decisions about when to start OAS benefits. Those entering retirement with significant debt might choose to start OS earlier to help manage debt payments, while those who are debt-free might have more flexibility in their timing decisions. The goal of achieving $5,000 in monthly income needs to be considered in the context of any debt obligations, as these can significantly impact the net income available for living expenses and lifestyle choices in retirement. Our emergency fund planning and maintaining financial flexibility can influence OS timing decisions. Having adequate emergency savings can provide the confidence to defer OAS benefits for increased future payments, while those with limited savings might need to start benefits earlier. The balance between maintaining financial security and maximizing long-term benefits needs to be carefully considered when planning for a monthly income of $5,000, as unexpected expenses can impact retirement income needs and the sustainability of retirement savings. The impact of future policy changes and potential adjustments to the OAS program needs to be considered when making timing decisions in 2024. While the basic structure of OS is well-established, changes to clawback thresholds, benefit amounts, or other program features could impact the optimal timing for starting benefits. 
Those planning for $5,000 in monthly income need to maintain some flexibility in their retirement income strategy to adapt to potential changes in government benefits and other economic factors that could impact their retirement income. The role of professional financial advice in OS timing decisions has become increasingly important as retirement planning becomes more complex. Many Canadians are seeking guidance from financial advisors, tax specialists, and retirement planning experts to help optimize their OS timing decisions and overall retirement income strategy. The expertise of these professionals can be particularly valuable when planning for higher monthly income targets like $5,000, as the interaction between various income sources, tax implications, and long-term financial security needs careful consideration and ongoing monitoring. Day planning considerations can also influence decisions about when to start OAS benefits. Those with significant estates might choose different OAS timing strategies based on their legacy goals and the tax implications for their beneficiaries. The interaction between OAS benefits, other retirement income sources, and estate planning objectives needs to be carefully managed to achieve both current income needs and long-term estate planning goals while working toward the monthly income target of $5,000. The impact of international retirement planning on OAS timing decisions affects Canadians who have lived or worked in other countries. Those with foreign pension benefits or retirement income sources need to carefully coordinate these with their OAS benefits to optimize their overall retirement income while avoiding potential clawback issues. The complexity of international tax treaties and pension agreements needs to be considered when planning for retirement income goals and determining the optimal time to start receiving OAS benefits. The role of continuing education and financial literacy in retirement planning has become increasingly important as Canadians face more complex decisions about their retirement income. Understanding the intricacies of OAS timing, investment strategies, and income planning can help in making more informed decisions about when to start benefits and how to achieve the desired monthly income of $5,000. Many organizations and government agencies provide resources and educational materials to help Canadians better understand their retirement options and make more informed decisions about their financial future. The impact of housing decisions on retirement income planning can influence OAS timing strategies. Those who own their homes might have different options for generating additional income through downsizing or accessing home equity, which can affect their decisions about when to start OS benefits. The interaction between housing costs, retirement income needs, and the timing of OAS benefits needs to be carefully considered when planning for monthly income goals and long-term financial security in retirement. The role of risk management in retirement planning extends beyond investment decisions to include considerations about the timing of OAS benefits. Different risk factors, such as longevity risk, inflation risk, and market risk, need to be carefully evaluated when determining the optimal time to start receiving benefits. The goal of achieving $5,000 in monthly income needs to be balanced against these various risk factors to ensure long-term financial security and sustainability of retirement income. The impact of technological changes and digital transformation on retirement planning and benefit administration continues to evolve. Online tools, calculators, and resources are making it easier for Canadians to analyze different OAS timing scenarios and understand the implications of their decisions. However, the complexity of retirement income planning and the importance of achieving specific income targets like $5,000 per month often requires a combination of technological tools and professional guidance to make optimal decisions. Social and lifestyle factors play important roles in determining when to start OAS benefits. Retirement goals, travel plans, hobbies, and other lifestyle choices can influence the timing of benefits and the overall retirement income strategy. The desire to maintain a certain lifestyle and achieve specific monthly income targets needs to be balanced against the long-term sustainability of retirement income and the various factors that can impact financial security in retirement. The role of charitable giving and philanthropic goals in retirement planning can affect decisions about OAS timing and overall income strategy. Those with significant charitable intentions might choose different timing strategies to optimize their ability to support causes they care about while maintaining their desired retirement income. The tax implications of charitable giving and its interaction with various retirement income sources need to be carefully considered when planning for monthly income goals and long-term financial security. 
the impact of family dynamics and intergenerational wealth transfer on retirement planning continues to evolve. Many Canadians are balancing their own retirement income needs with desires to help children or grandchildren financially. The timing of OS benefits and the coordination of various income sources needs to consider these family obligations while working toward monthly income goals and maintaining long-term financial security. Environmental and sustainability considerations are increasingly influencing retirement planning decisions. Some Canadians are choosing to align their retirement investments and income strategies with their environmental values, which can impact decisions about when to start OS benefits and how to generate additional retirement income. The balance between achieving specific income targets and maintaining sustainable investment practices requires careful consideration and ongoing monitoring of various factors that can impact retirement security.